Hi, welcome to the first video in our series Credit Card Fraud Detection Using Machine Learning. In this video, we will be talking about the business problem, why is it important to solve and what is the role or importance of data science in solving the problem. Now let's start our session with the definition of fraud. Fraud in general is any intentional deception to secure unfair or unlawful gain. When we talk specifically about banks and financial institutions, definition of fraud would be any unauthorized act, account activity by someone who the account does not belong to. Now, why is it important to care about fraud? Many surveys suggest that a typical organization loses 5% of their yearly revenues to fraud, which is a very big number to lose. Also, this number is an average metric. So there are many individual organizations which lose way more than 5% in frauds. So it's very important for them. Nowadays, there are many types of frauds. Some common types would be online fraud, where a person's account is hacked and money is transferred from the account. Or threat. Threat can be online and offline too. Online threat would be something when a person is threatened that their personal info will be leaked uh, if that particular person doesn't transfer money or some shares. Next, credit card fraud. The most this is the most common type of fraud nowadays. Stolen credit cards or credit card numbers are used to make illegal transactions. This is the biggest bucket of fraud transactions or frauds nowadays. Theft of inventory. This is something where someone breaks into your bank or ATM or some other financial institutions to steal money or some property or gold something. Increase in change nowadays people stopped using cash and uh, more uh, rely, relying on cards, debit cards and credit cards. Increase in these non cash transactions gives opportunity for more opportunity for credit fraud. In order for retailers and banks to not lose money, in this process, procedures must be kept in place to detect fraud before it occurs. Now that we have seen different frauds and how different financial institutions are affected by them and why is it important for the institutes to detect them, we move to some common approaches used today to detect the frauds. Most of the institutes today use rule-based approaches. So this is, we listed down how the rule based approaches are done for uh, used while detecting fraud. So mainly rule based approaches would be the algorithms written by some analysts based on the strict rule, based on some strict rules. New rules and manual changes needs to be implemented for any new type of fraud. Since the old set of rules might not contain a new type of fraud which occurs in the market. And with this, with the increase in customers and data, as time passes by, it increases the human effort since everything is handwritten by human. So, which in turn is very time consuming and costly. Other issues with this rule based approaches would be frauds going from beyond the defined rules cannot be detected, new situations cannot be responded, also, hidden patterns in the fraud cannot be detected, cannot be identified. In order to overcome these limitations, nowadays, companies have started using machine learning and data science experts in building fraud detection systems. Given the power of data, quantity of data, and computational resources, and also the power of machine learning algorithms available today, data science this machine learning process would be able to find patterns in frauds and detect them easily. This would be the end of this video. In our next video, we'll talk about how we convert this particular business problem to data science problem and what algorithms are we going to use. Thank you.